Hello all, I'm back for more fiddling, and uh, this time is something different. I'm going to play several tunes that I learned fairly early on from this book, um, Cole's 1000 Fiddle Tunes. So soon after I got my uh, first fiddle for a hundred dollars or whatever it was, um, I went to the OSU library and found some fiddle books. I think this is the only one that I could find there. And um, it was published in Boston, and it's an interesting combination of Irish, American, and Scottish tunes, mostly Irish. Um, so there's several tunes here that I haven't heard. Most of them I haven't heard from other sources, or not much anyway. And I learned them from this book. And so if you want an idea of what my style is like, um, unadulterated by my aping other people's, uh, and then this will give you an idea. So the first section of the book is reels. And, and uh, so I'm going to begin with uh, four, I think, reels. The first one is The Witch of the Wave. And the Witch of the Wave is the name of a boat. So here is the witch of the wave. speed. to speed.
Witch of the Wave. And the next one is um, Jenny Danged the Weaver. So I haven't heard the Witch of the Wave anywhere that I know of, anyway. Um, Jenny Danged the Weaver, though, I've heard many on several recordings, and I think I've heard it in sessions before. Um, it's Scottish, so one of the most common Scottish tunes. But uh, this is the place where I learned it, and I never stopped playing it this way, so... the weaver. I don't really know what it means to dang a weaver or anyone else for that matter. Damned. Damned a weaver? Sent him to dang nation. Okay. So the next is a, a relatively common tune called the Jolly Seven. It's um, there's a very similar tune, maybe it's the same tune, in Donegal in Highland and Real form called, um, well, anyway, one of the names for it is the, the Highland, the Highlandman that kissed his granny. Um, I might play another version of this then. Um, so I play this in two different ways, just deliberately. Um, so I started playing it the way it was written, and then I decided that's kind of plain, but I still liked it, so I changed it a little bit, so you'll, you'll see that. I'm going to play it through slowly twice. Um, first the plain way, more or less the way it's written, and then 
the way I change it a little bit. So here we go. that as two different ways playing the same tune um, and medium speed I play both variations um, twice transition from the first style of playing the tune to the second. I actually do it um, uh, at the end of the uh, A part. So I'll go... Okay, the Jolly 7 up to speed. Thank you. 
Okay, the seven up reel. Now this is a cool tune, and I can I can see this tune just becoming a lot more popular than it is because it's just a good tune. Oh, no, slower. speed. to speed.
So, 7-Up Reel. It's a nice one. All right, so there's one last one, if I can find it here. It's, um, it's before that. Let's see if I can... There it is. I think this is another... No, that's right. I thought it was Scottish, but no, I don't think it is. It's, it's Irish. Jenny Nettles Fancy. It has a, another name. Um, but again, I learned it from this pick. So slowly. So, pretty simple tune. Fancy up to speed. for the reels. Okay. Um, okay, the next is a tune that actually is a very old tune. I, I researched it once and I, I, I learned that it is pretty old um, and it comes in um, lots of different versions and uh, including a, a long, a very long version. I think it's on, in O'Neill's. It's called the Morgan Rattler. Um, now this is just a two-part version. It's very nice. Um, so, and this is where I learned it. Thank you. 
the speed. speed now. Next one is uh, the bottle of brandy, and this is uh, another one that I play in an unusual way. Um, I leave off two measures, at least I that's figured out. I, I figured out that that's what I do basically, uh, and I also play it. Um, unlike almost all double jigs, I, I play this single in the sense that I go through each part only once. So eight measures through the first part, and then six measures through the second part. And um, it's kind of, uh, well, you'll see why, perhaps, why it uh, lends itself to this. So, so it's uh, my, my Pretty Fair Maid. And there actually is, um, this has been recorded. The, the place where I've heard it most, I guess, is, is uh, um, you know, Dermot Burns, um, you know, self-titled CD. Um, he plays a version of this, also single. So... That's the A part.
And then it goes back into the A part. So, and that's the end of the A part, second time. So, um, here it is, um, medium speed, maybe it'll make more sense after I, I do that. fast version of My Pretty Fair Maid, so here's that. So the next um, tunes I'm going to play, there's a set of three, three jigs, um, and they are the Bottle of Brandy, I always forget the name of the middle one, um, the Bottle of Brandy, and then, where is it, here it is, the Little Brown Jug, Little Brown Jug, and Bully For You. <laughs> So, um, the bottle of brandy is not the usual, I think there is a different bottle of brandy. Yeah, not, not the usual bottle of brandy. This is, and so the bottle of brandy and Bully For You, which must be an American name, um, are two different versions of the leg of the duck, or the leg of a duck. Um, and then the middle one is just a really cool jig. I really like it a lot. Um, the, the one uh, that's called uh, Little Brown Jug, which is not the song of the Little Brown Jug. It's completely different. So anyway, so I, I'll, I'll play each slowly and then I'll, I'll play them back to back medium speed and then the usual way. So, so here's the bottle of brandy, this bottle of brandy.
the next one is the little brown jug. I hope I did the, the first part right. First time it, it goes. And then the second time through the A part, it goes. So that's kind of important. It's the first half and the second half of the A part is what I mean, not the second time through it. I think that's right. Anyway, so, and then uh, the last one is is um, um, Bully for You. So. play them a lot side by side it can be a little bit hard to distinguish between um, the uh, bottle of brandy and and bully for you but but they're different enough I suppose so medium speed
notice that the double stops I add there, you don't have to do that, but I guess I like that maybe too much. All right, up to speed.
So, two different versions of the leg of the duck, and uh, and this other um, this other cool tune, the little brown jug, which isn't the famous song, the little brown jug, but something else. Okay, so last few tunes. Next is um, Puss in the Corner. Yep, sometimes called the Cat in the Corner. All right, so here it is slowly. speed. Nice tune. I learned it uh, before I first heard it. Um, played on um, uh, James Kelly and um, and uh, Patty O'Brien. A great uh, double CD. Um, so.
that's a good one. I really like that one. Okay, and then I, I learned one slip jig from um, from Cole's Ryan's Mammoth Collection. So uh, this is called uh, Jack on the Green. Jack on the Green. Nice slip jig. simple tune it's very high tunes high registers high registers so medium speed speed you can play this quite fast I, well, let's see how, how, how fast I got Another nice tune, and um, one more. Um, it's a uh, Jinrikisha. The Jinrikisha, I think that's how it's pronounced. Let's see here. Jinrikisha, yes, that's right. So, uh, this is such a great hornpipe. I, I'm surprised. I, I just I this is one of those tunes I haven't heard it anywhere else. Nobody else plays it. It's just sort of sitting, sort of buried in the in the hornpipes. I I don't know how I ran across it, but anyway, it's a good tune. Here here it is.
medium speed. to a normal horn, horn pipe speed. That's a, that's a good one. Um, and that is going to do it for uh, Cole's 1000 Tunes, a.k.a. Ryan's Mammoth Collection. And, um, yeah, I, I had fun with uh, uh, revisiting these old tunes, which I don't actually play that much um, myself, but uh, maybe I will a little bit more. 